Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. March is Women's History Month. Every Friday in March, Jensen Strock introduces us to Toledo area women who've made history. Today, a name Toledoans and women know well. The Steinem name has become practically synonymous with the fight for women's rights. And while the first person likely to come to mind is Gloria Steinem, it was actually her grandmother Pauline who first broke through Toledo's glass ceiling, becoming the first woman elected to public office. Pauline was born in Poland in 1863, though she soon moved to Munich, where she found her love for the field of education, earning herself a teacher's diploma. In 1884, she married Edgar Steinem, and at 24 years old, with a baby in tow, she moved right here to Toledo. You know, she was a homemaker, she had children, she was very passionate about kids. Robin Hage is a historian for Toledo Public Schools. She says Toledo at the time was a champion of progress, a climate that Steinem and other leaders of the suffrage movement used to their advantage. At the turn of the century, when Mayor Samuel Goldroom Jones was um, leading our city, there was a progressive movement afoot. We have the Industrial Revolution. We have a, a huge increase in immigrants coming into the city of Toledo. Toledo Public Schools is expanding exponentially, you know, and we have this movement of unions that support the workers, and we finally have a mayor that says, look, this is what we need to do. And women, I believe, really felt Here's our opening, here's our chance. Someone is listening to our voice. Pauline hit the ground running when she got to the Glass City, involving herself in faith-based organizations within the Jewish community, and her ability and intelligence thrust her into leadership positions from the start. But it was after she connected with Golden Rule Jones that she got the nudge to run for a spot on the Toledo Board of Education. So in 1896, women obtained the right to vote in school board elections. He approached Pauline Steinem and encouraged her to run because she had these ideas of fostering the educational advancement of the whole child, not just focusing on academics. And he, he basically encouraged her to run because women had this right now to vote. Shouldn't they also have the voice on the seat as well? But her campaign wasn't easy. Women had little voting experience at that point, and those who did branch out were often ridiculed. It's my understanding that Steinem went into the registration places, which back then were somewhat seedy for single women to go into, and um, she was able to get her friends registered, and she won by 13,000 votes, which is pretty incredible. She took office in 1905, and she focused her full attention on the job. She fought for better education for high school teachers, new textbooks, and a better environment overall for students. She was very concerned about Toledo Public Schools graduating students that were emotionally stable and able to enter adulthood and be successful. So when she went to the old Central High School, she witnessed firsthand the overcrowding conditions and she said, this is enough. Despite her success on the board, Steinem refused to run again. Instead, she funneled her energy into other endeavors, especially with the women's suffrage effort. Steinem died in 1940 at the age of 77. Remembered for her intelligence, ability, and drive, she really paved the way not only for her own descendants, but for all future female leaders in the city of Toledo. But for now, reporting in Toledo, I'm Jensen Strock.